Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. Yeah, yesterday was Thursday. So if yesterday was Thursday, then today is what? If yesterday was Thursday, then today is Friday. Yeah, today is Friday. So if yesterday was Thursday and today is Friday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday is Thursday and today is Friday, then tomorrow will be Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow is Saturday, which means it's the weekend. So today is Friday. The month is April. What number? What number is nine or ninth? So today is Friday, April 9th, and the year is 2021. It's Friday, which means, like I said, it's almost the weekend. And yeah. <laughs> All right, what season are we in? This season is spring. That was bad. <laughs> spring. Yeah, this season is spring. So then what is our weather like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Miss Jessica is going to look outside her windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to look outside your windows, but Miss Jessica can kind of look both ways because of where she sits in the classroom. When I look outside my windows, I see that it's sunny outside today. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's a little bit warmer. We're definitely getting some spring weather. Nice for most people. <laughs> I like the sunshine, but I do prefer winter weather. Okay, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people. And that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is to keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry. Yeah, you need to take a deep breath and try to find a different way to communicate what you want and what you need while still being safe. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can be a challenge to understand right now, because you're not working with your teachers regularly and you haven't for a really long time. But there's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members, they ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. We need to make good choices. And that means being appropriate with our language and our tone of voice. Even if we're upset, even if we're angry, yeah. So we need to take a deep breath and try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice. Because people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And then lastly, always do your best. Yes. Always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. Your best looks different depending on how you're feeling, how much practice you have at what you're doing. Your best might look different from someone else's best. And that's okay, too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. All right. And then lastly, let's see how we are feeling today. Are you hungry? Do you have a headache? Are you cold? Are you tired? Are you hot? Are you confused? 
Are you sick? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you frustrated? Or are you thirsty? You can point, or you can tell somebody. There's a way you're <laughs> there's a way you're feeling that's not listed. You can tell somebody that as well. And remember, you can feel more than one thing at a time. Awesome job. All right. How is Miss Jessica feeling today? tired today. It's true. I'm tired just because it's been a long week, even though it was a short week. <laughs> Lots of things going on on campus. Just trying to get, you know, different things ready. Lots of things that Miss Jessica's doing. So I'm just tired. Um, but so that means I make, need to make sure maybe I go to bed early, get some rest this weekend. I'm a little sad today. It's true. I'm sad because I miss you all so very, very much. I miss the things I feel like we should be doing together. Um, you know, it's we're moving right through April, and I just miss you. Um, you know, there's birthdays that we're missing being together for, and that makes me sad. But I still get my stuff done. You know, I still have a smile on my face. But it is important to tell people that something makes you sad or that you are sad uh, because the people around you can help you, help you to feel better, help support you, figure out what you need. Even though I'm tired and I'm sad because I miss you, when I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, the fact that hopefully someday soon we'll be back together. And it's just going to be the best. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to work so very hard. And all of this time will just be a memory. That makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. But with that, meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video today. Uh, I think we're going to finish chapter 23, which is super exciting. Um, there will not be our 10 o'clock Zoom call today because Miss Jessica does have to do a training, but there will be an extra video on our YouTube. And we will resume our usual schedule on Monday. So I hope you have a good day today, friends. Sign that weird. Today, friends. A beautiful Friday. And I will see you in my videos on Monday. Bye, friends. Oh, have a good week. Yeah? Bye.